So what is up ladies and gentlemen, Jiwo here back with some more Mass Effect 2 for the Xbox 360. So this is gonna this is my first episode super late at night. Yeah, this is the first time I'm playing at like 12.30 in the morning. You know, after work, after all my friends have gone to sleep, after we've played Diablo 3, after we've played Ragnarok Online. Yes, today we are finally gonna go play some Mass Effect 2 super late at night, so I hope you all enjoy today tonight's episode. And while I was talking super loud right there. And hopefully I do not fall asleep while I'm playing. That would kind of suck, huh? So what happened? Uh, last episode we went and helped Jack, so in this episode, yep, we're gonna help somebody else. Let's see who we're gonna help out. We have so many people to help. Oh, G, -g, -g, -g unit. Um, uh, let's pick up some more probes. All right, who was I gonna help though? Uh, let's go to a mass relay and we'll choose from there. Let's see. Okay, so I could help Jacob. Hmm. Help Morden, Tachanka. Who do I want to help? There's so many people to help. Or I could do a side quest. Got a local cluster. Shadow Sea. RM. Hey, yo, let's go help Morden. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go help Morden. I like how it took me so long just to choose who I wanted to help. So let's see, we got some planets we haven't explored yet, but we can always do that on a later date, because we... Yeah, there's so much to do, so much to see. Let's just jump into this. So we are on Tachanka. Going to meet up with Morden's assistant, I believe. I think that's what we were doing. Don't quote me on that. It's been a while. It's been a good three, four days since I've played. And um, hopefully, I know, I don't want to make excuses for tonight or anything, but I'm getting a little sick. And I sincerely apologize for that. So, let's see. Who are we going to take with us? Alright, we got to take Morden with us, because he's the man. Uh, looks like Jack and Kasumi are loyal. Who do I want to take? Oof. Oosh, oosh, oosh. Hmm. Well, Garrus, you're the man, but... I'm going to take Kasumi with me today. Or tonight. Oh man, we need to, need to level you up, sir. So you have incinerate. Let's get you a cryoblast. Okay, I'm good to go. And Kasumi, you're good to go as well. Cool, let's do this. So yeah, I'm going to be sipping at some tea while I'm playing. Hope you guys don't mind. Oh man, that's good stuff. <sighs> Gotta love that green tea with honey. Okay, so we made it here to Chachanka. This is the Krogan homeworld. Huh. Yeah. What about us? You guys, you guys got a problem? Want to fight about it? Uh, what do we have? A Normandy shuttle. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. <laughs> Blood pack only recruits Krogan. Okay. Maybe we should have taken what's his face with us, Grunt. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Talk to him soon, alien. If we decide you're not welcome, you'll know just before we kill you.
Yo. I kind of, I kind of want to bring Grunt with us. Let's see. Yes. Alright, Grunt, you're coming with us instead. Sorry, Kasumi, but you're gonna have to sit this one out. Oh, oh man, my ears itchy. Okay, so we, he's got a battle rifle and a shotgun. Alright, we're okay with this. Hang on, let me just make sure everything's all set. See if Grunt's got all his stat points. Oh no, he does not. One, two, three. You're gonna get a concussive shot. You're gonna get your incendiary ammo as well. All right, let's go. Take your business to the clan leader. All right, we're going to the clan leader. Don't mind us. All right. So how's it? Ooh, what's up, BD? Yeah, dude. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Wow. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. <laughs> Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepherd. Oh shoot, it's Rex. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my way. Shepherd! My friend. Oh man, it's Rex. You're like well for dead, Shepherd. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. <laughs> <laughs> you made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. <laughs> Headbutt? Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in the collector's <laughs> I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, <coughs> benefits of a redundant nervous system. Uh. Yeah, <coughs> humans don't have that. Oh, well, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. Oh, that's nice. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. It. Let's ask him. You share your females? What do the women of Clan Earth not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Earth not now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Earth not. Your women have their own clan structure? 
Nothing is more valuable than a fertile field. Yeah. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. Oh, the power of females. Set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. <laughs> How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fuck. All right, we're gonna start skipping dialogue now. There's a lot going on here. We present a simple choice: pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. Well, that seems reasonable. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skept. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. <laughs> Word gets around. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. <laughs> Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We're making a neutral ground where all clans can share resources. Okay. All of it. Let's go. Why bother with weak clans? Every clan has different customs, rites of passage, rules of that diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Let's see, but yours is dominant? Not is the leading clan. I guess. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Jorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Hmm. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even or not. We need to rethink. Restart. Well, how's your plan Sounds going? Ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. <laughs> it can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Uh I hope that works well for your people. You don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka. I'm trying to but you're an exception. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to talk to him about. Next. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short sighted fools in line. <laughs> well, Shepard. I have nothing to say to aliens or their pet Krogan. Hmm. Okay, so we need to look for pit fight camp. Wait, really? You have to bet on these things? This is so inhumane. Oh, I won. I'm the best. <laughs> Watch it, human. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. <laughs> I'm looking for a Solarian. The blood pack captured him, and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's blood. Sent one of my scouts to check it out. Hmm. Reported back. Guess they got him too. Uh oh. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. All right, we'll take the truck. Incinerate incendiary ammo and armor piercing rounds are very useful against heavy armored opponents such as Krogan. All right, looks like we're using that, s not that spell, but those biotics. Hopefully that helps us. <coughs> and oh man, are we already getting near 15 minutes? That's freaking crazy, I didn't even do anything yet. But yet, yeah, we're taking Morden with us, and we are going to take Grunt with us too. Taking our team, that's right. All right, I don't need any of that. Oh, douche. 
Check out that truck, man. That is... It's crazy. So I was, in a, I was having a long talk with my friend. Um, he's been a huge fan of Mass Effect um, ever since the first one came out. And, you know, he was telling me, yeah, man, you gotta play the first one. And I, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it, man. I think I'm just gonna... I'm okay with working with the 15-minute intro video. What the heck is that? What the heck are these things? They're like giant lobsters, man. Yo, I am not a fan of giant lobsters trying to kill me. It's not cool. But my friend was saying, yeah, you gotta play the first Mass Effect so you can truly appreciate the rest of the series, and I totally agree with him, because he brought up a great point, like Assassin's Creed. It's like, that's how, that's what I recommend to everybody, is if you're going to play an play the entire Assassin's Creed series, you're going to have to, you know, well, you don't, you don't have to, but if you want to get the full effect, I should say, you got to start with the first one. And so... Oh snap! Wow, these guys. Burn nicely. Hey yo, shooting rockets. Uh. Holy hell, man! Man, those blood pack people, they don't mess around. Where are they coming from? Enjoy. Oh, right in the face, dude. Push forward, guys. Why the heck is my game lagging? Yeah, this game isn't supposed to be lagging. That's bad. There's just way too much going on. Dude, this is hilarious, though. I hope it's not lagging. It's just kind of funny, because... The Xbox is supposed to be almighty and oh, so powerful. And if it's... Alright guys, let's... I'm starting to use biotics. Look, I'm building a very versatile shepherd. Dude, it's so funny, dude. I knew that was gonna happen. They're carrying like flamethrowers and everything. You just use incinerate on them and they blow up. It's so easy. Alright, who's around the corner? Where are they coming from? Come on, come at me, bro. I know you're right behind there. dead, buddy. Failed. 
All right, let's see if I could get him with another incinerate. Not difficult. All right. Well, that wasn't bad at all. Okay, I should probably save here, though, because... Actually, let's salvage some stuff. Let's clear this place out. Journal... Find someone at the... Okay. And let's stop here really quick. Uh, I'm going to save and continue on in the next one. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time for some more Mass Effect 2. Gwo out.